Just about 20 minutes ago on headlines today, you saw Ahmadmi Party leader Ashutosh break down. For six minutes, he could not answer a grieving 16-year-old child asking why her father died. Was the tears that you saw, do you reckon that was real regret or do you think? It was nothing short of political tamasha. We're opening our phone lines. Uh, do call us, pick up the phone, and we'll take your call lines right here on this live bulletin. Our top story. Close to four and a half hours after the Delhi Chief Minister apologized for the death of Kajendra Singh and for continuing with the rally thereafter. Party leader Ashutosh, speaking with headlines today, broke down on national television. Asking forgiveness for the farmer's demise, a distraught leader appealed to the Congress and the BJP to stop politicizing the issue. Ashutosh was inconsolable for about six minutes. He folded his hands, apologized to Gajendra Singh's daughter, who was also on the show. The irony lies in the fact that Megha Singh, the daughter, was brave enough not to break down, while Ashutosh couldn't control his emotions. सब लोग बहुत आहत हैं, बेटी, मैं मैं गुनागार हूँ तुम्हारा, मैं मंच पे उस वक्त मौजूद था, काश हम उसको बचा पाते, लेकिन मैं हम लोग सोए नहीं हैं रात में, बहुत तकलीफ है, लेकिन ये जो राजनीति इसके बहाने की जा रही है, ये गलत है, इस देश के नेताओं को समझना होगा, कैसे राजनीति से कुछ नहीं मिलने � इस राजनीति को पता नहीं आप लोग ये बीजेपी कांग्रेस वाले राजनीति कर रहे हैं सब मलिश सोचिया का नाम लेके आ रहे हैं कुमार विश्वास की तरफ उंगली उठाई जा रही है हम लोग इंसान हैं राजनीति करने नहीं आए हैं हम राजनीति करने नहीं आए हैं इस दिन कंजी राजनीति करने नहीं आए हैं हम इस राजनीति करने नहीं आए हैं ये राजनाथ सिंह जी को समझना चाहिए हमारे ऊपर ये आरोप लगाने की कोशिश की जा रही है हमने उकसाया उसको ये गलत है ये ठीक नहीं है तो मेरी बेटी की तरीके से होगा मैं तुम्हारा गुनागार हूँ जी मैं बोलना चाहती हूँ कि अब मेरे पिताजी संसार में रहे तो नहीं हैं मैं बस इतना कहना चाहती हूँ कि पार्टियाँ एक दूसरे पर दो सारों पर नहीं करें हम कि कांग्रेस पार्ट बीजेपी पर बीजेपी आप पर ऐसे मैं सबसे कहना चाहती हूँ कि इस प्रकार एक दूसरे को टेम दो सी ना टेराएं well, well, Ashutosh was crying a very composed, very very composed and brave daughter, Megha Singh. Well, she heard him out, spoke to him, tried to tell him not to cry, console him. She later spoke to headlines today as well, questioning why didn't the rally stop and why did nobody bother to save her father? Megha, what do you want to say to Ashutosh Ji? He didn't have to take care of himself, he was crying, 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 पछतानी से कुछ नहीं होता वो तो गए संसार से तो ये अपने आप को गुनाह ना समझे अब कि अब इससे कुछ नहीं होने वाला जाने वाले थे वो गए तो मैं इनसे ही कहना चाहती हूँ कि आप अपने आप को इतने दुखी ना करें और ना तुम तुम किसी को गुनहगार मानती हो अपनी पिता की मौत का जी मैं गुनहगार तो उन लोगों को पेड़ पर छड़ो ऐसा करो आपकी फोटो आएगी मैं उन लोगों को गुनेगार मानती हूँ कि जिन्होंने ऐसा करने के लिए उनको प्रेरित किया था और उन वो बचा नहीं पाए फिर उन्हें उन्होंने बचाया नहीं उनको मेरे पिताजी साइड करना नहीं चाहते थे लेकिन जब जब वो पेड़ पर चढ़ रहे थे तो उनका अचानक उनका पैर स्लिप हो गया और हो गया था पेड़ पे से और उन्हें किसी ने बचाया नहीं एक बहादुर लड़की है मेघा 48 घंटे नहीं हुए मेघा के पिता को चल बसे हुए और इस समय मेघा हमारे साथ है हेडलाइन टुडे पर है मेघा आपके पिता का सपना क्या था क्या चाहते थे वो आपके लिए जी मेरे पिता का सपना तो यही था कि मैं 
एक अच्छे ऑफिसर बनू अपने देश की सेवा करूँ आप बारहवीं कक्षा में हैं इस सपने को साकार कैसे करेंगी जी मैंने ट्वेल्थ के एग्जाम दी हुई हैं और मैं आर एस आई एस आई एस की तैयारी करके अपनी पिता का सपना पूरा करूंगी ये कहा जा रहा है कि पैसे की कुछ तंगी थी परिवार में पैसे की क्या कमी थी क्या इस वजह से पिताजी ये कदम उठाने पर मजबूर हो रहे थे नहीं पैसे की तंगी नहीं थी मेरे परिवार में लेकिन हाँ ये थोड़ा दुख था कि इतनी फसल बर्बाद हो चुकी है मेरे पिताजी मेघा तुम तुम्हें लगता है कि तुम्हारे पिताजी ने आत्महत्या की क्या क्या मेघा आपको लगता है कि आपके पिताजी ने आत्महत्या की नहीं मेरे पिताजी ने आत्महत्या नहीं की है और मैं इसको मानने को तैयार नहीं हूँ कि मेरे पिताजी ने आत्महत्या की है वेल यू टॉक On your television screen are two very different faces. A sobbing, completely inconsolable Ashutosh from the Aam Aadmi Party, a very composed 16-year-old child who has lost her father just about 48 hours ago. The question that we are putting out to our viewers is right there: Do you reckon this is real regret, or do you think this is nothing short of political tamasha? Do pick up the phone. Do call us. We already are trending on Twitter. Our hashtag is Ashu Cry. So keep the tweets going if you are not calling us, but pick up the phone and express your views. Real regret on your television screen, or once again political tamasha? Our first caller is Babita. Go ahead, Babita. Yes. Uh, what I like to say is that uh, it is very rare that you see a man, not a woman, but a man breaking down in front of, I think, lakhs and lakhs of people. And I don't think that uh, what you media people are putting up, the way the word which you have used, Tamasha. Please, I beg of you now. Okay. Even I am begging you. As a woman, I am begging you. Please. Mm -hmm. Don't push this word Tamasha. That person was not doing that. He was genuine. He was genuine. Ba Babita, Babita, I would, I would like to, I would like to ask you to compose yourself. Just read right ahead of what is Tamasha. It's real regret. It's a question, Babita. That's why we are opening our phone lines once again. We want to put it out there. As journalists, we walk a very fine line between sensationalism and reporting facts. And these are facts. These are facts. And why we are saying so is because 40 hours ago. This man on your television screen was very different. We are not saying we are not attributing any any cause. We are not attributing any cause as to why Ashutosh actually broke down. We are not saying it's political tamasha. We are leaving that question for our viewers to answer. We are also putting a question which says, do you think this is real regret? Because it does seem that the Aam Aadmi Party today is overwhelmed. These were very different people, and the sequence of events has got the better of them. We want to now cut across to our next caller. Lakshman is on the phone line with us. Lakshman, go ahead. Lakshman, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I am here. Go you. ahead, Lakshman. Uh, hello. Uh, I think, you know, these people are making a school, I think. I don't think I am uh, I'm very happy. We are finding a good actor here. You know, he should have joined Bollywood and uh, he could have won an Oscar. Okay. So what is these politicians are doing? Lady, you see, they could have definitely done something at the, on the spot when the, uh, this thing has happened. Right. But uh, what is happening now? All politicians, they are just, you know, just crocodile tears they are putting. And right. I don't know how far people are going to land in poor farmers, uh, see that family, how much. And uh, on this, this people, as you said, you know, I think they are they're making the whole thing tamasha. All right. What is this? Eh? All right. Appreciate you joining us, Lakshman. As a channel we are not standing on any side of this divide or this question it is for our viewers to decide but what we need to do and what we should do for the benefit of our viewers is to put the question right out there we have an ex-scholar Ramanujan is on the phone line with us go ahead sir hello yes go ahead sir go ahead yeah, what I'm wondering is why this fellow should cry now instead of bloody saving to this guy when he was just slapping out of the tree instead of encouraging him, they should have stopped the bloody rally and they should have brought him down. Whatever bloody thing he is doing right now is all bloody. The, the best of acts, he should just learn from the child how composed the child is. He put all these guys are really serious about it. They should go on back to the entire nation that what they have done is the greatest crime. Instead of saying that somebody is playing politics, who's not right. playing politics? 
when the whole thing was happening the whole leaders were addressing the rally you should have signed to go and save it what nonsense all these fellows are talking all right appreciate you joining us sir next caller krishna kumar on the phone line with us yes mr kumar yes yes i am speaking from guwahati ye jo main dekh raha hu na आशुतोष जी का हेलो जी बोलिए बोलिए आशुतोष जी का ये रो करके और ड्रामा करना ये जो है ये लोग इंस्टिगेट किए हैं उसको हत्या उसके मौत पर जो राजनीति कर रहे हैं और ये मरने का जो है इन लोगों को पूर्ण रूप से दोषी हैं क्योंकि ये जानते थे कि यदि ये मर जाएगा ऐसे कर करके तो यह रैली जो है मेरा कमयाब हो जाएगा कृष्णा कुमार जी हम आपको बता दें कि अभी भी कोई मोटिव कुछ स्टैब्लिश नहीं हुआ है तो आप जो बोल रहे हैं वो नहीं बोल सकते हैं आप कह सकते हैं अगर आपका ओपिनियन है कि ये पॉलिटिकल तमाशा है पर आप इसको कुछ और मोटिव नहीं दे सकते हैं क्योंकि अभी इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रही है और कुछ स्टैब्लिश नहीं हो पाया है और नेक्स्ट कॉलर इज सतीश शर्मा हीज ऑन द फोन लाइन विद गो हैड मिस्टर शर्मा कैन यू हेयर मी मिस्टर शर्मा All right, we 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 are trying to uh, reconnect to our next caller, but we're giving our phone numbers right out there. We're also giving a question. Once again, this is a question. Do our viewers think of what happened today with Ashutosh breaking down while a very composed 16-year-old sat consoling him? We are not attributing anything to that. It could very well, very possibly, and it could, it may be, actual genuine tears of completely being overwhelmed by a situation. but we are putting that question out there because it is our job and like we said as a journalist it's a thin line between sensationalism and reporting facts and the facts were that two days ago ashutosh was a different man on what we see today and we'll just pull out that reaction of ashutosh two days ago he did duly apologize for that reaction as well but we are putting it out there for our viewers ye arvind ji ki galti hai ki arvind ji foreign manch se nahi utre अरविंद जी की गलती है फॉरन में पेड़ पे नहीं चढ़े अरविंद जी की गलती है कि वो शाखाओं पे नहीं गए दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री को ये काम करना चाहिए था मैं उम्मीद अगली बार अगर ऐसा होगा तो मैं दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री जी से कहूंगा कि वो पेड़ पे खुद चढ़े खुद पे उस पर जाके शाखाओं पे जाए उस आदमी को आत्महत्या करने से रोके हमारे ऊपर ये आरोप लगाने की कोशिश की जा रही है हमने उकसाया उसको ये गलत है ये ठीक नहीं है तो मेरी बेटी की तरीके से होगा we want to just put it out there that even that first comment that we had played of ashutosh ashutosh after listening to himself realized that he was in the wrong and he did publicly apologize on twitter our next caller is rajendra go ahead rajendra hello yes rajendra go ahead uh, yeah hello yeah, it is 100% tamasa nothing nothing other than tamasa just to fool the people of india is am aadmi only pulling in india had they been serious they should have cried the same day the same moment they should have cried in some giving speech and now he after 48 hours he is giving all this rubbish thing to again pull the people of delhi and the people of india they should all be kicked off they yes. should be 100% it is some instead of blaming they are blaming media media all person right. All right appreciate you joining us Rajendra there's clearly there's clearly been something that has brought about this change of stance by the Aam Aadmi Party it was very very different when the incident occurred but today just about 4 or 5 hours ago we saw an interview of the chief minister of delhi where he admitted that maybe it was wrong of him to continue with his rally when an attempt to suicide was being made was made while he was just about to speak uh right after that we saw ashutosh completely inconsolable breaking down on national television so that interview was given today morning about 5 hours later ashutosh uh, arvind kejriwal's colleague completely broke down on national television when questioned by a 16 year old child when she asked him on why her father was dead he had absolutely nothing to say he broke down there is a plausible question right now that needs to be put out there a question that needs to be asked and that is what we are doing right here the question is do you reckon this is real regret or do you think this is plain politics our next caller would be answering this question for us because it's for our viewers to answer this questions not for us to take any sides is gopal go ahead gopal ha ah, hello yes gopal uh, go ahead speaking from new mumbai yes uh, you see uh, the contrition uh, shown by mr ashutosh seems to be genuine enough for me yes uh, but uh, uh, my own uh, uh, guess our uh, conclusion uh, is that the enormity of the tragedy is slowly sinking in on the yes. uh, leaders of the aam aadmi party 
though a proper judicial probe can only establish what exactly happened prima facie to me it appears uh, it's a kind of political show gamesmanship which has horribly gone wrong right one hopes that a lesson will be learned and people will stop well uh, said capital well well said gopal appreciate you joining us uh, as gopal said that maybe it is the enormity of the tragedy which is suddenly dawning on the aam aadmi party and they are crumbling under it and uh, thinks these tears are completely genuine uh, our next caller is dev kumar go ahead mr kumar ye aap jo bata rahe guys that don't know either it is tamasha or real but one thing i could say that the politicizing by congress and bjp is not good yes it will help the other people also why police what was the police has been there appreciate you joining us mr dev gubarn from siliguri our next caller is sunita go ahead sunita do you think uh, what you see on your television is it real regret or do you think it's just plain politics see i've been watching your program since morning yes. the one question that i want to ask mr ashutosh and mr arvind kejriwal is that they say that bjp and congress and other parties are politicizing this matter whereas they had started the blame game on the stage of the rally itself even before any good could you know understand what was happening so if before pointing fingers at others they should first see what they themselves are doing appreciate you joining us sunita gupta they're from bangalore calling us our caller lines are open we're giving our numbers there uh, our next uh, caller is mr k m silva kumar mr silva kumar go ahead sir uh, madam yes मैडम ये तो बकवास है मैडम ये जो भी कर रहा है ना ये नाटक कर रहा है उस दिन इट शुड बीन स्पॉन्टेनियस इफ ही वर टू क्राई दैट डे इट वुड बीन ओके पर क्राइंग आफ्टर फोर्टी एट आवर राइट हेलो एंड मोर ओवर मिस्टर केजरीवाल वॉज लीडिंग दैली ही शुड हैव गॉन देर एंड दैट पर्सन वॉज कॉल कॉलिंग फ्रॉम द ट्री केजरीवाल को बुलाओ केजरीवाल को बुलाओ एंड लेडी वॉज शॉर्टिंग फ्रॉम टाउन राइट Crumbling, crum, crumbling down on the Aam Aadmi Party. The likes of Ashutosh right now, they're only getting to grips of this tragedy right now and completely overwhelmed by it. Our next caller is Sudhir. Go ahead, Sudhir. Yeah, actually, I would like to say a lot of people in this world have a lot of problems, you know, and they go through depression and all that. And committing suicide is actually a psychological sickness. The man should have gone through that. And unfortunately, he did this thing in the in a big uh, meeting. where you know he wanted to attract the attention as aam aadmi party people who are very simple simple people good person they are not very thick in politicians that's why mr asto she cannot take volley of such blames and such you know right. malicious shower that's why the poor man has broken down there's no fault of aam aadmi party and whatever the best aam aadmi party could do in that situation it is marvelous because there could be some feet there could be more serious problems one man has died right. okay he has psychological problems he died okay and all right story. okay appreciate you joining us our next caller is minish go ahead minish yeah well, three things this this is definitely tamasha that is number 1 Number two, even if you look at at this time, they are not losing even a single chance to speak anything against BJP or Congress. Like they are proving that they are the best breed on this universe, right? Which they are not. They know that, and they are seeing their graves. That's why these people are crying like these on this screen. Thank you. This is Tamasha, four hundred percent. All right. Appreciate you joining us, Minish. Uh, Well that is the question that needs to be put out there right now which is uh, with what happened just about an hour ago Ashutosh breaking down on national television when confronted with a very very composed a very brave I must say 16 year old who actually went to console Ashutosh asking him not to cry asking him uh, to hold himself but ashutosh had no questions had no answers to give this child and completely broke down and also then pleaded with other political parties to stop what he said was indulging in dirty politics gunnar sinan our next caller go ahead 
Mr. Gunan Siran, I'd appreciate if you turn off your television volume, you'd be able to hear us better. Yes, ma'am. It is very nice that you are showing uh, Mr. Ashitosh. Yeah, it is already off. Hello? Yes, yes, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think you are showing a very good, beautiful uh, scene of Mr. Ashutosh. I think uh, they are supposed to act in TV, instead of uh, acting in summer uh, AAP program and everything. There is instead of condoling somebody who has lost a 16 years girl is speaking with that bravely, and this man is uh, acting such. It should be stopped at all the moment. It is almost nine times I am seeing it was. Okay, Appre appreciate you joining us. So, a mixed bag of reactions coming in for our viewers. Very similar, it mirrors the kind of reactions we are actually receiving on Twitter. We are under the hashtag Ashu Cries. Uh, and it's similar, similar kind of mixed opinion. Some do feel that this is actual genuine regret. They really didn't know what took place uh, then. They maybe made a few mistakes, but the enormity of the tragedy is only that they're getting to grips with at this point of time. But there is a set which believes that this is nothing else but plain politics. All right, our last caller today is uh, Nakhil. Go ahead, Nakhil. Yes. My name is Nakhil Inamdar. I'm speaking from Belgam, Karnataka. I feel the blame game exposes the use of distress for political gain. And I feel that BJP and Congress should not polit politicize the issue. Right. Instead, they should come together and work towards the well-being of the farmers instead of blaming up and instead of politicizing the issue. Right. And I feel that uh, Mr. Ashutosh's tears is completely genuine and we all should work towards the well-being of the far farmers of our country. Because every day several farmers are committing suicide. Right. Just three days after the incident, another three farmers committed suicide in Rajasthan. And this is not right. We should all, all come together, we should not politicize the issue and we should work for the well-being of each and every farmer of this country. All right. Appreciate you joining us, Nakhil, from uh, Belgaum there. Well, with that, we've reached the end of uh, this special show where we were taking in calls. Uh, once again, uh, it's not for us to decide whether this really was uh, actual real tears or this was plain politics, real regret or just politics. It's not for us to decide. It's for our viewers out there. And that's the question that we placed out. Uh, we got a mixed bag of opinions similar to what is being reflected right now on Twitter under the hashtag AshuCries. With that, we're going to wrap up this bulletin. We thank all our viewers for joining us with their calls. Uh